Hey, how's it going, everybody? How y'all doing on this Tuesday? Tuesday morning. Yeah, I just get off work. Come to bring you guys a couple things. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, it's a five game slate. By now, you guys should be, you guys should be in the, in you guys should be walking it like a dog right now, man. It should be easy as pie. Not so much for me. Um, I didn't hit on DraftKings last night, but I hit on FanDuel. Not nothing major. I just cash. That's all. Um, five, like I said, five game slay. If you guys, um, before I get into it, if you like it, if you like this video, just go ahead and like and subscribe. I can't thank my followers and my followers, my subscribers enough for the support. I love it, man. Um, just gives me motivation to keep doing this, you know, putting out this free content. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I don't charge nothing for this. I mean, you know, um, like I said, we got five games, man, five games. One thing I want to point out, if you don't got Twitter, you need to have it. Uh, you do it wrong if you don't have Twitter. Uh, <clears throat> It's just, man, you got to have it, man. You get the news first, man. Like, how you know? People be like, how you know? How you know they was out, man? You know, I, man, Twitter, 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 Twitter. You got to have Twitter. You got to be right there front center before every game lock, especially with these Q tags, you know, with this COVID, COVID, however you want to say it. Man, I don't even like to talk about it. You know, it is what it is, man. Just make sure you have Twitter. You have you need you need help on who to follow. Follow Fantasy Labs, NBA, and turn on the notifications. You know, follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description. You know, shit like that. Now, let's get into this five game slate. I don't want to point out everything. You guys know the drill already. Uh, one thing I do want to say: this first game, Kevin Durant is out. Uh, got a cute, got a cute tag on, uh, got a cute tag on, um, what's that guy's name? Derek Favors. And then, you know, the rest is written. Uh, I don't have to get into much in, 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 into too much. You know, the usual suspects on the Brooklyn side, Kyrie, Levert, uh, Allen, Harris, you know, Jordan, you know, those are the guys, man. Uh, Joe Harris is priced at 5600 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you'll get him at maybe around 4K. Let me see. You'll get him at 4600 on FanDuel. So that's a big price discrepancy. Um, Karis LeVert, uh, interesting play here. Um, especially on FanDuel for the simple fact that do you think the upside is here? If you don't think the upside is there, you can fade him. On FanDuel, you'll get him at 6100 a very lovely price. But you have to play two of them over here. And then, look, you got some guys with some upside. Zach Levine, Paul George, uh, Bacalo, Mitchell in this same game. D'Angelo De, 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 Russell, if he could ever get it together, he got 50-point upside. So, you know, if you want to be bold and go out there and fade, I ain't mad at you. You got to pull out the tricks today. You got to pull out the tricks. One other thing I want to point out about this game, you got value. You got guys like uh, Bogdanovich, Royce O'Neal, Ingles, all those guys in play, man. TLC, Prince, you know, look at Jeff Green down here. You know, all these guys, they in play on a five-game slate. You ever, you ever look at the leader boys, boards when the, um, after the first games are over with and you see game stacks up there? Don't be surprised if you see a, a Utah and Brooklyn game stack or uh, Sh Chicago and Portland or mix it up with Utah, Brooklyn, Chicago, and Portland and fading these games. Because of the pace of these games that, you know, because of how fast these games can be played. 
and how much fancy points can be put put up in these games, man. So uh, watch out for the games. That's the games that can take it tonight, for sure. Donovan Mitchell, seventy four hundred over here, eight K out, seventy eight hundred over there on Fanduel. Look, he needs to get right. He only he hit forty. He he only hit forty one. He ain't hit fifty fancy points this year. Yeah, be on the lookout. He's a shot taker. You know, once he get hot, it's a wrap. Rudy Gobert, I love the price. I love his price. I love him. Um, especially we could do two centers on DraftKings. Him and him and Jokic. Okay, with some Kyrie. Mm -mm. I'm trying to tell you, it's going down. And then, like, I, then you got Conley. Conley can go off at any minute. And then uh, you got cheaper options like Bogdanovich and Royce O'Neal, Joe Ingles. Like I say, uh, you they can get up for this game. They can get up for this game. So it's just like pick your poison with this game. I'm going to move on over to uh, the Lakers in Memphis. I'm trying to make this quick. Uh, they just beat up on them. This is a back, this, is, this is not a back-to-back, -back, but it's a rematch. One thing I want to say about these rematches, man, with no fans in the stand, uh, you know, this virus going around and uh, like – like how they're doing it, you know, they plan they plan these teams and uh, you know, back to backs. Not this ain't a back to back, but you you know what I'm saying. These rematches, you get a chance to you, you know, you get a chance to get your lick back. So, you know, with then couple that with no fans in the stands, stuff does get intense. Stuff can get these games do get intense sometimes. So, um LeBron James got the Q tag and uh you know Hey, uh, uh, Caldwell Pope got the Q tag, so you know if you get any, you know that that if he doesn't play, Pope doesn't play, they open up minute for Horton Tucker. Uh, he helped me cash last time they was on the slate. Thank you. Um, Dennis Schroeder, I love Dennis Schroeder. You know they want him and Montrezl Harold to be great, but I won't be going to Harold no time soon. Uh, and then, you know, with LeBron James, they just in play. Jonas Valanciunas looked like he's hurting from in the absence of John ja Morant. And uh, that's really hurting him. He'll get him at 6,800 on FanDuel, so he's coming down. You got Marcus Gasol down there clogging up the paint. Joe Val clogging up the paint. You know, some big, real big guys down there that's probably pushing AD out the paint, you know, hindering his rebounds and stuff like that. So, you know, taking away easy buckets and stuff like that. So I probably won't. You know, you got to make some stands. You got to make some stands. I'm a one lineup guy, so I probably ain't no telling. That's a juicy price tag, though. And he's 10K on FanDuel, 9,500 on DraftKings. It's hard to pass that up, real hard. I have to meditate on it. And LeBron James, you know, just I think that's where you attack this team at with the uh, like guards and scoring guards and stuff like LeBron James. He's been doing great though. If he plays, he got a 54, 62, a 55. You'll get him for 10, 10 1 on DraftKings and on FanDuel. You'll get him at 10 2. So he's very well in play. And then you know you got your guys like Andersons and Brooks and stuff. They need to they need to step their game up for this. Uh, yeah, so I'm getting texts and stuff like that. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so uh, another thing I want to point out. Um, I don't think. Um, I don't think um, Deion, did he get some run last game? I don't think he got run. No, I don't think he got run. So that's something to uh, that's something to keep in mind right there. He was clear to play, but he didn't get run. So uh, 
if he gets run, happen to get run tonight, that can cut into run for from uh, Desmond Bain and uh, you know Grayson Allen and stuff like that. You know, Marcus saw he played like twenty three minutes, like twenty four minutes. He put up twenty two fancy points. That's the most minutes he played all, all year. You know they need that big body up there against uh, Joe Val. So you know that's that's something to. Uh, something to, something to, some 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 to uh, keep in mind, especially in a close game, he might play more minutes than that. So you know he could be a value play. And then, like I say, with uh, Kyle Anderson and Brooks, you just have to either you do or don't, man. That's that's all I have to say. Moving on over to uh, Minnesota and Denver, um, the usual suspects are out. Um, then you'll get. Uh, a Q tag on Okoji. He's missed several games. Uh, he might be on his way back. Uh, Noel might be on his way back. So that's that. Um, D'Angelo Russell coming in at 7,200. He had about 40 fancy points last game. Uh, they, this is a rematch. Uh, you know, let's hope he get back up. Let's hope he, he hit the 50 point mark. You know, I don't know if I'll be rostering him, but. You know, it is what it is. Ricky Rubio coming in at 5K. He's 4,500 on FanDuel. Just come on, man. Use the guy the right way, man. Use him, man. I mean, man. man you can see. His price is going down, though, man. His price is going down. People probably ain't going to go there. <clears throat> he only had 17 minutes last game. Probably because of, uh, uh, um, you had uh, Malik Beasley playing well. And then you had Jerry Cover come in with 20 real points. So uh, somebody who I probably won't be going back to again, but he I'm going back to, but he does get the minutes. At 4,400, that's, ugh. He does get the minutes, though, man. He does get the minutes. And on the, uh, I mean, like Nas Reed on a slate like this is a no for me. Uh, Jermichael, uh, uh, um, um, Ed Davis. If he stays out of foul trouble, then he could probably return nicely on that fight. He's 3,700 on FanDuel, 3,400 on DraftKings. He, he, we know he can put up great fantasy points. He just may need to stay out of foul trouble, right along with uh, um, Nas Reed. On the um, on Denver side of the ball, Jokic in play. Murray in play. Murray's been balling, too. He had about a 50 and a 40. In the last two games, close to 50 both both games. Uh, in the absence of Michael Porter Jr., he's really chucking up the shots. Definitely in play, 7,600 over on DraftKings, and he's 7,800 on FanDuel. Um, like I said, Malik Beasley, Malik Beasley is in play. Uh, Paul Millsap, definitely a GPP flyer. Uh, Jermichael Green came right in, getting almost 30 minutes last game. He could stretch the floor. 14-5, three assists, two steals, four turnovers. Scrappy guy. Can shoot the three. He was three for eight. He took eight threes last game. Somebody who Jokic can kick it out to. They're going like, to like, like to have him around. So uh, his price might be creeping up throughout the season. Somebody you can look to at 3,800, man. He's 3,700 on DraftKings. I'm on FanDuel, so uh, where FanDuel's power four, he's 3,900, my fault, but FanDuel's power, power four slot is really terrible over there today. And then Gary Harris, somebody who gets all the minutes and don't do shit with him. Uh, P.J. Dozer, he's the one guy that gets minutes, and, uh, you know, the upside is hardly there for him, though. And that's about it for this game. I want to move on over to San Antonio and L.A. Clippers where uh, Aldridge still has the Q tag. He missed a couple games. White won't be there. Morris, you already know the deal. And then that's about it for the injuries. The people that matter, um, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, you know, that tandem is in play. Paul George is under 9K. You get Kawhi Leonard price is creeping down over here at 9,100. Both of these guys are in play. Uh, San Antonio has been paying up pace, playing up pace. Paul George has been doing it all, stuffing the stat sheet, 55, 55, 52, 37, just balling. 
If San Antonio can keep this game close, there could be some fantasy goodness here. Um, 22, 22, 20, 24, 22, 15 shots, seven threes, five threes, four threes, four threes, uh, no threes, five threes, and five threes. He's really shooting a three ball. He's shooting it well this year. Um, that's just man, all signs of go. He's in play. DeMar DeRozan, tough matchup. Keldon Johnson, tough matchup. Uh, DeJounte Murray, <clears throat> if they can keep it close and we see upwards of 30-plus minutes of him, if you feel like he's going to get that, then I love the play. Uh, probably one of my favorite. He's got a better matchup than Keldon Johnson and um, and DeMar DeRozan, so uh, he's he's a player that I like. He's just I could probably go to other people on this slate for cheaper or, or more aggressive. But I don't mind the play because, you know, anything can happen in this five-game slate. Keldon Johnson ain't scared of nobody. You know, 28 minutes, 36 fantasy points, 40, 35 minutes, 48 fantasy points. The boy can ball. Stay out of foul trouble. He should return. 6,500 on both sites. Uh, and then, you know, down here for value in the garbage can, Nick, Nicholas Batum sitting there at 4,500. Nobody's going to look look at him. If, if 4,600, nobody's going to look at him. Um, you know, he's getting all the minutes. So uh, if he can get you 30 fantasy points on that 4,600 price tag, hey, that's what's up. He's power forward and sent, uh, small forward eligible over here. Lou Williams, 4,300 on DraftKings. He's 4K on FanDuel. 4K. So the value is popping out. You just got to really be in line for it. And then you got the, another guy I want to talk about, Patty Mills. He comes in and gets his 22, 23 minutes. He can get hot, though. Uh, he's shooting at least, what, five threes a game. He's hitting at least two of them. Uh, he can get hot. Somebody they can use to, to uh, hit some three-pointers to keep this game close. And then you got Luke Kennard. I probably won't get there. Uh <clears throat> He shoots. He, he hasn't been shooting a lot of threes because uh, George and Leonard's been shooting them all. But you know, you know the minutes are there, especially in the blowout. Uh, Patrick Beverly is a no. Reggie Jackson, nah. You know what I'm saying? You know he ain't getting it, man. I'd rather just get to uh, Lou Williams and call it a day. Um. That's just about it for this game, man. Serge Ibaka, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even touch on Serge Ibaka. Uh, you know, I like the matchup. I like the matchup. He'll see some Eubanks. He'll see some uh, some ja 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 Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. I call him Jacob Purtle. Uh, and, uh, you know, only thing is Serge Ibaka is splitting minutes with uh, Zubats. Um, did you... <sighs> You know, it's that's that's keeping them from getting that getting that thirty we need every night from him. The thirty two minutes we need every night from him. Moving over to the last game on the on the, on on the, on the, um on the slate. Uh up pace matchup should be plenty of fantasy points to go around. Plenty of shots. These three guys right here, big shot takers, big shot makers. <laughs> oh shit, man. Uh here we go. You get Lillard at 9,200 on FanDuel. On, 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 on FanDuel, on DraftKings, you get him at 9,800. McCollum probably coming in the same, about 8,400 on both sides. No, he's, he's uh, 8,900 on FanDuel. Ah, okay. I see y'all. I see y'all. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic, I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. I don't know what's gotten into him. I don't know why he ain't been getting the minutes. Oh, yeah, I know why he ain't been getting the minutes because... Uh, Enos Cantor has been breathing down his back. He's sitting at 5,400 on DraftKings. He's just been balling. He had 44 points. He's somebody who can put him up in a hurry. We know what he do. Y'all know what he do. We know what he does. Going up against the Chicago Bulls team, he can be throwing elbows all around, telling the ass to get the hell out the way. 24-12, 8 for 12, very efficient last game. Man, 5,400, I think he's about, I think he's, I think he's priced up more than that on, on, on 5200 on on FanDuel. So you know how that counter game goes, man. I'd rather tell you, I'd rather have him over uh 
over Wendell Carter, I believe, probably. Wendell Carter is at 5,700, and he had 144 fantasy points, but he he's playing like Cannon, and Cannon's coming off the bench. Shit. Carter 4,900 on FanDuel. But, you know, uh, Portland is a deep team. Uh, just the, the, when you get to the deeper guys like Robert Coverton, he doesn't do much with his minutes. Uh, this guy, he gets all the fucking minutes. He don't do, no, do too much with him. Derrick Jones Jr., that's like, why? I mean, I don't understand. Uh, he's probably an average defender. He's a no for me, man. Uh, even though against this Bulls team, he, this will be the team he might get 30 fantasy points on. So uh, I have to point throw that out there. Gary Trent Jr., he's a flamethrower. Uh, my boy, Daniel Gafford, I can't. I wish to. I wish they had free him. Excuse me. I wish they had free him, man. Man, I wish they had free him. I like Daniel Gafford. Whenever they get a chance to free him, plug him. Plug him in. And then, you know, that's, that's that's you know, on the bull side, Zach Levine, he's in play. Uh, Kobe White, he's in play. He hasn't been showing the upside that I like to see. He had a good game last game, but I, a couple. I, I'm talking about consistent, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, he he was bringing it last game. His, his shots are there. The minutes are there. This matchup is about to be there because uh, Kobe White going to have to do something because Damian Lillard, he going to try to kill him. You know, he going to try to kill him. And, um, you know, that is Youngs and, you know. This game should have some fantasy goodness, though. Don't sleep on it. This Chicago game and this Brooklyn game, uh, both the games can be stacked. You can mix and match from these two teams. Uh, I like the pace of that sense, uh, uh, the pace and you know, uh, how that game can go. Man, you know, you can go all different types of ways on the slate. You can X all these motherfuckers off from this game and just take Jokic and mix them in with these, with Utah and Brooklyn. You, can, you know, you can do all that, you know. Le- LeBron James has been balling, you know, other than that, you can probably just say, fuck it, I want to just mix LeBron, Jokic with Chicago and Portland and Utah and Brooklyn and, you know, try to check some or, you know, but the plays are there. The plays are everywhere. Just figure it out, man. Figure it out. Because I'm going to try to figure it out right with y'all, man. Hope you all like the pod, man. Like and subscribe, man. Uh, I might throw some plays out in the description like I did for my last video. Uh, I pointed out some plays. I'll pin it. I'll pin them throughout the day. That being said, I'm out, man. Peace.